Chang leads innovative innovation projects for Fortune 500 companies in several spheres of content. Through the looking glass of the user experience, innovation and creative design is a game changer. Corey, can you please give design its perspective on travel and aviation? Um, can you hear me? Yes, thank you. First of all, I just want to say I love that there's four women on the solutions panel. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so at Design It, uh, whether we're working for a financial services sector, healthcare, consumer products, or travel and aviation, uh, we're, we're focused on one challenge, which is how do you achieve the balance of the demand and the requirement for human centricity that people expect today with, again, the requirement for sustainability, profitability, and scale. And I think uh, in the travel industry, one of the most interesting facts is that in the last 100 years, 65 billion people have flown somewhere. And the same number of people are going to fly somewhere in the next 15 years, right? This is a huge transformation. And when we think about the expectations of the people who traveled in the last 100 years versus the people who are going to travel, they're completely different. And thanks to this, which is supposed to be a phone in my pocket, but it created an expectation for on-demand, personalization, deep, rich experiences that are all about me. And just because volumes are increasing, right, the, the one-size-fits-all uh, mass marketing type of solution that used to be okay is not okay anymore, right? Uh, because people expect this one-to-one -one service, and not only that, if they have a bad experience, their voice is very loud, right? They can influence 50,000 people to choose not to come to your city or your brand, et cetera. So when it comes to uh, coming up with solutions, A, uh, we have to think about personas and think about the designing very human-centric one-to-one -one experiences using data, using technology, and also think about the stakeholders. So the future travelers, the millennials, and 80% of millennials want a cultural experience, they want a local experience, right? They're not going to see the Eiffel Tower, they're going to the cool bar in the Marais. Uh, and they want to be with the locals. So the ones delivering that experience are the locals. And if the inhabitants aren't happy with the visitors that are coming and what's uh, being done about that ecosystem, then it will never work. So in coming up with these solutions, again, the personas we have to think about are both the visitors as well as the, the inhabitants, because they're part of delivering that experience and ensuring it, uh, it benefits both. Thank you, Corey. Uh, 